Alright, so I've got my reading glasses on tonight, and I'm going to be doing a review and an unboxing of an Epifan Video Webcaster X2. So I've been doing a lot of YouTube Live lately, and I don't, I, I've been playing with the Open Broadcaster, and it, it's cute, but the encoding quality leaves a little bit desired, and I don't really like tying up an entire computer for that. So these are about $300, and um, it promises to let me monitor and to also use a higher quality uh, video input other than like a webcam. So um, let me pull the camera closer and I'll go through what's in the box and then I'll, I'll kind of work my way through setting it up. I don't know how far I'm going to get because the monitor I typically use for this is a VGA input and I don't have an HDMI to VGA. I don't think there's a VGA on this. Anyway, let's get into the box and see what's got, what we got. So, First things first, we've got, it's, it's a really, it's actually quite nice box. And I've been in here a little bit earlier just because I couldn't resist. So you've got the webcaster, which is this little unit. And it's got a universal power supply, so it comes with all the different bits to use it pretty much anywhere in the world. That's really, really cool. And it's set up automatically for the US, and so it looks like you could just twist this. Oh, oh, I see. You push that and twist. Okay, so it's not it's not bad. This actually is a, a pretty easy way to um, go from country to country, and that's really awesome. I need to save those and try not to lose them. So it comes with an antenna, so you could feed via Wi-Fi if you wanted to. Um, and then it comes with an HDMI cable, which is nice. It, it would have been nicer if they had mentioned that it comes with an HDMI cable because I bought one not realizing that it came with one. And like all HDMI cables, it's overpackaged. And then it comes with a basic little network cable. It says it's got some quality to it, but you know, it, it's really, really flimsy feeling, so I don't have high hopes for this network cable. And then it's got some instructions on how to update it. And so you basically plug it in and set it loose and asks you to register so they can mark it to you. And it's got a little quick start guide with it. And how to register and how to get help. So pretty pretty standard stuff. So let's let's get this foam off here and uh, I would have expected some plastic, uh, but there wasn't any, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got HDMI, USB, and Ethernet power and an optical connection, HDMI in, um, another USB. Um, so it's, it's relatively well equipped. Um, I'd love to know what's in it, but that would void the warranty. My guess is a little system on a chip running Linux of some sort. So what I'm going to do at this point is uh, try and get it fired up. Um, I don't really have, uh, let me stop the camera and see if I can go find something to convert this to. Uh